The story is about a 15-year-old named Mitsumi who moves from a small town to Tokyo for school. She was in a very tiny class in her old town. Mitsumi wants to do well in school and help with problems in the countryside. Mitsumi thinks she can find her way to school on her own using the subway, but she gets lost because she didn't understand the directions. Then, a boy named Shima, who is also going to her school, helps her get there. Shima decides to run to school with Mitsumi when he sees her trying hard to make it on time. She's the top student in her class and has to get a speech. Luckily, Mitsumi and Shima arrive at school before it's time for her speech. She forgets to take her speech out of her bag, but still gives a great speech without any mistakes. After her speech, Mitsumi tries to go to the bathroom but accidentally throws up on her teacher, which is embarrassing. Mitsumi goes to her classroom, but a girl ignores her because she threw up earlier. Shima helps by asking if she's okay and wants to be her friend. The other girl follows and becomes friends too. Mitsumi tells her best friend, Fumi-chan, that her first day of school went well. She says she made two new friends and talks about the subway incident, but quickly changes the subject. Mitsumi's aunt brings her delicious food to celebrate her first day of school. Fumi tells Mitsumi's family about her day. Shima and his friends are eating at a restaurant. He rushes home to get to school on time for the next day and blushes while thinking about Mitsumi on the subway. Mitsumi tries to go to bed early to have a good day tomorrow. She's worried about introducing herself to her classmates. Mitsumi and her classmates are introducing themselves in class. Then, we go back in time to when Nao Chan, Mitsumi's aunt, drops her off at school using the subway. They talk about Mitsumi's upcoming self-introduction at school. Mitsumi seems confident and tells her aunt she'll keep it simple. During the subway ride, someone makes fun of Nao Chan for being transgender, but Mitsumi comforts her. When it's Mitsumi's turn to introduce herself, she does so confidently. She talks about wanting to be a government worker to make big changes in society. Shima, on the other hand, introduces himself in a more relaxed and fun way. Mitsumi thinks Shima is like her dog. Both Mitsumi and Shima become class officers. The class decides to go to karaoke, and Mitsumi, Shima, and Yuzuki agree to go. Shima openly expresses his interest in Mitsumi, but a classmate warns Mitsumi not to believe everything he says because he's nice to everyone. Mitsumi starts to doubt Shima's intentions. Yuzuki tells Mitsumi that a classmate lied about Shima to get close to him. He also teases Mitsumi about her accent, which upsets her. But a phone call from her best friend Fumi makes her feel better. Mitsumi goes back to karaoke and decides not to overthink things. She confidently sings a nostalgic song and everyone, including Shima, cheers for her. Yuzuki asks Mitsumi to be friends on social media and Mitsumi and Shima have a good time walking home together. The next day, Mitsumi's classmates are joining different clubs, so she's trying to decide too. Shima joins her to watch a drama performance to see if she wants to join that club. Mitsumi notices that Shima seems sad at times. Shima, who comes from a famous family, doesn't want to reveal his true identity because he wants a normal life, but it bothers him when a playwright recognizes him and treats him differently. Shima tells the playwright that he doesn't want to be known as a famous person. Later, Mitsumi decides to join the student council after thinking it over and tells her aunt all about it. After thinking about it, Mitsumi goes to a student council meeting hoping to join. She meets Sasuke and Yuzuki on the way. When they reach the room, they see another student, Makoto, who seems surprised and nervous when she recognizes them. There are rumors that Mitsumi is a powerful student at the school. When Yuzuki leaves, they go to the student council room to see if they can join. Sadly, they find out that the student government isn't actively looking for new members. The girl in charge of money, Takamine, and President Yamamoto of the student council introduce themselves and suggest that Yuzuki and Mitsumi can help plan events as part of a support crew. Takamine tells Mitsumi that the duties can be stressful sometimes but won't harm her schoolwork. Mitsumi is worried about managing her time. Mitsumi talks to Makoto and asks if she wants to go to Starmax Coffee House with her and Shima. At first, Makoto is nervous, but she quickly feels comfortable with her new friends. The next day, Makoto greets Mitsumi at school and invites her to a movie. Other kids in the class overhear their conversation. Before going to the theater, Mitsumi and her friends stop at a restaurant. When it comes to popcorn at the theater, most people prefer salted, which is the same as Makoto's preference. Yuzuki tries to high-five her but gets left hanging. After leaving, Yuzuki tells Makoto that she knows she only wanted to invite Mitsumi to the movie. She asks Makoto not to feel pressured to talk to her if she's not comfortable, 
so Makoto can relax. Mitsumi realizes that she made a mistake as the class representative by not considering everyone's preferences for the movie, which could have made things more harmonious. Mitsumi tries to figure out how to make things work between Makoto and Yuzuki as they watch the movie. She even asks Sosuke for advice, but he doesn't understand her signals and picks salted popcorn. Makoto texts Yuzuki, admitting she was right about her observation and expressing interest in getting to know her better. Although Makoto can't look Yuzuki in the eye, Yuzuki seems happy. As the group goes home, Mitsumi feels content and realizes that the memories of the places they visit are actually memories of the people they are with. Mitsumi walks to school, feeling excited about her day. When she arrives, she meets Kanechika, the person who wanted Shima to join the drama club. Kanechika tells her about Shima's past as a child actor and asks her to convince Shima to join the drama club. Mitsumi's day isn't going well. She does poorly on her English quiz because she's scared to talk to Shima about his childhood acting. While playing sports, she gets hit by a ball because she's not focused. Feeling unwell, she's sent to the school's medical room. Looking out the window, Mitsumi sees Shima, and they talk. Shima asks what's wrong, and Mitsumi eventually tells him about Kanechika's request. She understands Kanechika's perspective, but advises Shima not to be angry with him because he's looking out for his club. Shima has a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Mitsumi and explains that he no longer wants to act. He encourages Mitsumi to pursue her dreams. Mitsumi promises to support him whenever he needs her. She tells Kanechika that Shima doesn't want to join the drama club and leaves. After a holiday week, Mitsumi finds out that some classmates were studying while she was on vacation. She panics and asks a teacher for advice. The teacher suggests talking to Takami, a disciplined student council member. Takamine spends a whole day teaching Mitsumi how to use her time wisely and be disciplined. Inspired by Takamine, Mitsumi makes a schedule and decides not to waste time on unimportant things so she won't regret it. The next morning, Shima sees Mitsumi's strict schedule and mentions that she's losing sleep because of it. Takamine tells Mitsumi to do things her way and admits her own mistakes. She advises Mitsumi not to follow in her footsteps and says that the importance of using time wisely becomes clear later in life. Shima tells Mitsumi to go at her own pace, and Mitsumi agrees. Mitsumi tells her friends and family back home about her life in Tokyo. She mentions that midterm exams are coming up, and her classmates are working hard because they go to a really good school. This motivates her to work hard too. In her class, they're deciding who will be in the sports team. It turns out that everyone has to join the team, which worries Mitsumi because she's not good at sports. So she asks Shima and Igashira-san to help her get better at volleyball. When they agree to help, Mitsumi brings snacks for Shima and Igashira-san the next day. But Igashira-san won't eat them because she's worried about her weight. She's a bit jealous of Mitsumi because Mitsumi can eat without gaining weight. Igashira-san is also jealous of Mitsumi's friendship with Shima. Yuzuki and Karun step in to help Mitsumi while Igashira-san is teaching her. On the day of the sports competition, Mitsumi brings pickled vegetables for her friends and saves some for Shima. She tries to give them to him, but he's busy playing a sport, and she feels overwhelmed by how popular he is, so she leaves without giving him the snacks. Mitsumi meets Senpei, who tells her that Shima might be feeling lonely because of his fame. Mitsumi remembers all the times Shima was there for her. Despite her fear of upsetting the other girls, she decides to cheer for Shima during his game. She also gives him the pickled vegetables after his match. Before going to school, Mitsumi talks to Fumi on a video call. Hyumi tells her that she likes a boy and Mitsumi asks her what being in love feels like. Hyumi says she gets really anxious when talking to him and worries about saying the wrong things. Later that day, Mitsumi and her classmates find out about upcoming tests. Mitsumi is determined to do well because she wants to go to a good university. Then Mitsumi hears that Shima didn't come to school that day. She also hears rumors that he often skips class and doesn't care much about school. This worries her a lot and she has nightmares about him not coming to school anymore. The next day, Shima comes to school very late and explains why to the class. Mitsumi is still worried about him. They start talking when the teacher asks them to stay in class for a while to organize some papers. Mitsumi shares her worries but has a hard time controlling her emotions. Shima tells her that not everyone cares about grades like she does, and she runs away from the conversation. Later that day, Shima talks to a friend about how guilty he feels and explains the situation. Meanwhile, Mitsumi can't sleep because she thinks she's to blame for Shima's behavior. 
The next day, Mitsumi asks Micah for advice. Micah tells her that as long as she made her point clear, it's okay to stick with what she said. Mitsumi realizes she didn't really know what she wanted to say to Shima, and this makes her feel introspective and critical of herself. After thinking about it, Mitsumi meets Shima to talk things over. They both seem confused, but Shima decides to put their differences aside and apologizes for being rude the day before. He starts to walk away in a hurry. Mitsumi stops him and admits that she acted that way because she wanted Shima to come to class more often since it was boring without him. She feels embarrassed and tries to leave. Surprisingly, Shima stops her and explains that his family is distant, so he often spends evenings at his friend's house. He also mentions that during the third year of cram school, he was out late a lot. Shima reassures Mitsumi that he's not as much of a mess as she might think. He also says that he was more upset that she believed the rumors about him that other students spread. He doesn't mind if people gossip about him, but he doesn't want Mitsumi to take it seriously. After they reconcile and share a laugh, Mitsumi can't help but keep looking at Shima because she suddenly feels exposed. As Mitsumi goes home and thinks about Fumi's thoughts on love, she decides to call her childhood friend right away. But the story is not finished yet. Comment down for the next part to find out what happened next.